YouTube, what it do? What's the word? It's your boy Chris from BWC, and you're now boxing with Chris. If it's your first time here, make sure you do the right thing and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and tune into the work. There's gonna be this tale of the tape slash prediction for Frank the Ghost Martin, Michelle La Sarsa, Ali Rivera, obviously Frank Martin, who stands at 16 and 0 with 12 KOs, 5A with a 68 inch reach. Um, Rivera, who stands at 24 and 0 with 14 knockouts, 5A with a 71 inch reach. Orthodox versus a Southpaw fighter. Two different styles. Obviously, Frank Martin's a come forward, hard hitting Southpaw, likes to put punches together, likes to apply pressure, likes that right hook to the body, followed by the right hook upstairs. Um, we've seen different looks from Rivera. You know, he can jab, he can fight, he can. But the keys to this tape, man. Frank Martin wants to fight one way. He wants to be a bully. He wants to be a dog. He wants to make it a phone booth fight. He wants to just apply pressure. He wants to attack to the body. Michelle Rivera can also do that. But his best way of winning this fight, obviously, will be using his reach, pumping that jab in his face, you know, boxing on the outside. We've seen Frank Martin tussle, but we still haven't really seen him box. He claims that he can this could be a good fight to see if he can box in there and trade in the pocket and be patient instead of just going for the hard hitting. Um, he has his chin hasn't been tested. Not saying he's chinny, but his chin hasn't been tested. Let's see if he can take some the same way he dishes it. Obviously, we had a controversial knockdown of Ali a couple fights ago, which shouldn't have counted. Um, also, make sure, man, that you stay away from the right hook. Ali has to stay away from that right hook to the body, follow that right hook by that right hook upstairs. It has seen to be done a lot of detrimental damage to all the opponents. And obviously, Ali, like I said, he'll have to just really keep the fight from the outside, pump his jab, but change the pace. Might, you know, pump the jab, fight from the outside, then you might have to come forward a couple rounds. Change the pace of the fight, give him different looks. Maybe by the time he adjusts, it will be too late. You never know, but this is a great fight between the eight and the number rank, the eighth and ninth number rank guy in the lightweight division. It's going to be a great fight to watch tonight. Make sure you tune in. Like I said, I probably will be going live, but my final prediction, man, I'm going with Primo. I'm going with La Sarsa Ali, winning a close split decision over Frank the Ghost Martin. I may be thinking with my heart instead of my head. But it is what it is. Make sure you hit the thumb. Don't be a bum. You know what to do. Keep it 8 more than 92. I'm going to see y'all soon. Peace.